Hello everyone. On behalf of Web Labs, I welcome you to this AutoCAD online training session. So, BIM Labs is an authorized learning part of Autodesk, and myself, Amal PV, I'm working as a technical engineer at BIM Labs Engineering Services Private Limited. So, today in this session of online training, we will be looking into the layer properties which we use in AutoCAD. So from the past few episodes or the past few videos of our online training, you might be familiar with the graphical user interface and some drawing tools as well as modify tools. So today we will be discussing the layer options. So we can use this op uh, option in layer panel to create a new layer. I am using this layer properties. So here you can see that there is also already a layer called zero layer, which is actually a default layer. Actually in AutoCAD, there is two default layers present. One will be like you saw earlier, zero layer, and another will be, one will be called def points. So def points will only be appear when you put any sort of dimension at best. Right now, let's say if I am giving a particular dimension here. Then if I go to layer properties now, you can see that a new layer called def points has been created. So this is a layer which only appears after generating any sort of dimension. So you can see that a difference in def points is that it's not, it will not be the the things that we draw in def points will not be plotted and that's the difference between zero layer and def points so in order to create a new layer you can either use the shortcut of alt plus n or you can simply select the option here to create a new layer so basically why we require these layers is that in while we are working on a larger file or larger drawing you might want to distinguish between different elements and sometimes you want to hide them or sometimes you just want to protect the drawings in a particular uh, section so in order to enable these kind of option we use the option called layer so now i have created one layer i can change the name of a layer by simply entering it I'm just giving it as a here you can see that while generating a layer you can provide a specific color for the layer so that you will be able to easily distinguish between the different layers and here there is an option called line type so line type generally means that if you want a particular appearance for your line or whichever uh, things that you draw in that particular layer you can load it and here I'm just for an example I'm using this ISO dash space and then I'm selecting it from here so you can see that I have, I have changed the line type to a particular style and the next option is the line weight well while looking into this line weight it kind of appears like the width of the line but actually it's the line weight which is being represented it means that the amount of ink which is being applied while taking a printout so you can also change it if you require so these are the general option that we use while creating a particular layer let me just quickly create some other layers too I'm giving different colors so that it will be easy, easy to understand. Okay. So you can see that um, this is the layer panel and you can see that there are some options below this drop down. Actually, this is a drop down here. You can see whichever layers you have created in this project. And you can see that I have created some layers here and you can access any of these layer by simply selecting it. And you can see that 
uh, my current layer has been changed to layer one so now if i draw something let's say i'm drawing this circle see the line of the circle is represented in green color and also the line type is changed to a particular style so this style is given in this uh, option so let me quickly change the others okay so you can go to if i want to draw in another layer you can simply go to this drop down and select that layer and draw anything which you require to draw in that particular layer so the this way you can easily access between any layers that you have already entered then let's look into the option here you can see that there is an option called for turning on or turning off a layer if currently i'm in layer 2 which is represented in this orange color now if i want to turn off a particular layer let's say if i don't want this layer to be present in my drawing i can simply turn off this see by turning off the elements that we have drawn on that uh, particular layer will be hidden let's say if i want all my layers to be hidden i can also use even turn off my current layer they will uh, ask if we uh, actually require it see you can turn off my current layer too then after turning off my current layer if i draw something i will be able to draw it but will not be able to see it or to edit it so see that circle that i drew here is present here so this is how you turn on or turn off a player and the next option is to freeze a layer so if i use this option pretty much similar to what um, turning off but the difference being you cannot uh, freeze your current layer see you cannot freeze because that's the current layer so what difference it makes by it is that if you freeze a layer then you will not be able to add any sort of drawing to that particular layer or you cannot move to a or you cannot make a freeze layer, frozen layer to it, to your current layer so this is the option for freezing and the ne next option is to lock so if i lock some layers you can see that that layer is actually it kind of appears in a blurred way so this way you will have your drawing there for as a reference if i want to plot anything in reference to this point you will be able to do that so this is how you do that and other option you have while locking it is that your drawing will be safe so you will not accident right now i have selected it but i if i press delete it will not be deleted so by locking a particular let's say if you're working in a particular project and if you don't want your reference model or a reference mode or something to get accidentally deleted you can lock those layers so that it will be there and the, you can simply delete the other components which is relevant so that's actually the functionality of locking a particular layer so for all these three options we actually use the drop down menu to access those options but whenever there are several layers or the number of layer is very high and you are not able to browse it through this drop down menu then you can use the option which is lying below this drop down so the first one is to turn off so you can select this option turn off and if i want to turn off this particular layer which is appearing in the, in the purple color you can select any object which is belonging to that particular layer see this is my current this object currently isn't okay let's 
Okay, I'm changing this to an another layer. My current layer is now changed. Now selecting this object. See, I only selected that line, but the entire layer has been hidden. I mean, turned off. So this is how you turn off a layer while you have a huge number of layers. And you can turn on all layers at once by just selecting this option. See, all your layers will be turned off. The next option is to isolate a particular layer. Let's say if I want to work in this, uh, this layer, I'm using this option to isolate it. So I'm selecting the object. Now, currently I only need to work in this purple layer. So I have la selected that layer or the object which belongs to that layer and I'm selecting enter. See, only that particular layer will be there and all other will be there already hidden. So this is how you isolate it so that you will have a clear vision over your layer and other uh, unwanted stuff or unwanted drawing will be hidden. And you can unisolate it by clicking on this option. So the next option is to freeze a layer. Like I mentioned on the earlier option, this is also the same, but here you have to select it from the drawing itself. And the options are al also similar. You cannot freeze your current layer. See, this is the difference between actually free freezing a layer and turning off a layer. You can turn, uh, I mean, unfreeze all it by so all layer option. And the next option is to lock a particular layer. See, if I want to lock this layer, I can select this. But the problem is we can only lock uh, one layer at a time. And also we can only unlock it by selecting each one, like one at a time. This is how you use these options. And let's say if you are working in, so if you have a huge number of layers and your drawing consists of uh, elements from different layers and let's say if you have to go to this uh, purple color of uh, layer but you are not actually quite sure which layer it belongs to then you can use this option make current so by selecting an object from the drawing itself you can make that particular layer to your current layer that's how you use this make current option so the next option that we use is match layer option. So this is usually used when we have to match some, uh, if you have to match a, let's say for example, if you have want to move this uh, purple circle to an another layer, then we can use this option. So currently it's in this layer called A. So I am using this option match layer. Then we have to select this object and then press enter. Then we have to choose the layer to which this circle has to be. So I'm choosing the circle, this green layer. So now you can see that the circle, it's the um, circle which was in layer A has now changed its layer to uh, layer number one. So this is how you match this layer. So these are all the common options that we use while creating a layer and while working with layer properties. So that's all for today's video. I hope you find this video informational. So we'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you.